Things are really quiet over here right now. Usually this place is full of animals screaming and barking, but it looks like all the cats are asleep and I think the dogs are settled pretty well. Um, hey, it's the last post of the year and I thought that we'd look at something new today. Um, right now, my life is um, really all about trying to finish the Flip the Frog Blu-ray set that's been in progress for six some years. Um, and I'm excited because it's almost there. Um, I've been going through like these old Bosco videotapes. Actually, these ones I haven't, but um, uh, I kind of keep the older sets Flip the Frog around as inspiration right now. Um, and I've been pulling out tapes and um, past transfers of various Flip the Frogs just to get every little piece that I can and try to get it the set as good as I can. I also keep around for inspiration Ray Corner's Toby the Pup set. It's always inspiring me. Um, and, and something I was wondering, you guys, why, why didn't they ever finish the Betty Boop head on the Betty Boop sets? Like, I don't know, I, I just wonder, have any of you made um, the other part of the head just to kind of complete it? So Flip at this point is down to a handful of hard drives and um, sort of consolidated, but it's lived on lots of hard drives over the year. And the main archive is um, basically every scan that, um, that's that been done so far. And the project is just extensive in terms of all of the stuff that it has in it. Um, by the end of it, you kind of hope that these, these are what the cleanup files sort of look like. But in the end, you kind of hope that everything kind of comes together. And right now, I'm at this point where we have all of the different elements scanned of each thing, and um, we've started to kind of compile them. And then we, sometimes we have four or five different scans of something that we put together. Um, and there were final versions of all this stuff that I made for, you know, the brain trust. And then those folks, which are the people that I really rely on to help me finish these sets, those folks came back with some feedback, and boy, did they come back with feedback. Um, and so I've got these long lists of things to fix on the project. And so I've been hunkered down here, just working on this little Mac Mini and on an iMac, just finishing all the all the little edits on it. I'm pretty happy with how the set's looking now. So I have 37 of the 39 cartoons all mastered at this point. And what's been really fun about it is that I, I really get to play with them and just try to hopefully get the best versions of each one of these things for this particular set, at least the best that we can make them right now. Hair is color. Anyway. But enough of Flip the Frog. Um, about a week ago, I got a reel in the mail of what was labeled Automania 2000, but it ain't Automania 2000. It turns out that it's a whole bunch of commercials. And I could swear that I did buy a reel of commercials, but I don't think it was in an audio Automania 2000 can. Anyway, I thought we'd watch this together and just uh, sort of ring in the end of the year or the new year with some old, new to all of us, mid-century modern-ish commercials. So let's fire them up. Ah! I don't know if Charlie wants to see these or not. Sounds like you don't. You want to watch cartoons, Charlie? Charlie wants to watch cartoons. Okay. Once upon a midnight day, while I was worn out and weary, on my bumpy mattress sagging to the floor, suddenly they came a rappy, and in thoughts of every nappy, who was there? Who were you expecting? A raven, maybe? I was trying to sleep. Sleep? Who can sleep on a lovely old mattress like this? <coughs> Having your nest with a new Sealy mattress. Who can afford it? Who? Everybody during Sealy's 76th anniversary sale, year after year, regularly $59.50, now Sealy's famous natural rest, once again drastically reduced to $39.95. 
at the saving of $19.55 or a button free CD. Yeah. How can I buy one? And all wise dealers during CD's anniversary sale. Just $39.95 for this $59.50 value. I'm pretty sure that that's the, uh, the voice of the park ranger. He's on those corners. Money. Interest <laughs> guys. I like oh. money. Money is my hobby. My wife's out saving money now at her Safeway store. That's right. Money. <laughs> I like money. Money is my hobby. My wife's out saving money now at her Safeway store. That's right. Saving money. The secret of saving at Safeway is the lower total food bill. You pay less, get more. Remember, Safeway is the place to save money. It's really odd character design in that one. Uncomfortable. Yeah, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Look at that. Dorothy Lamore was actually going to auto shows. I, I think there must be a sponsor tag announcement that's supposed to come to this Come to the part. 1957 auto show in downtown Chicago. Or yeah. whatever. I wonder if Dorothy Lamore went all over. Focus! Empire Savings yeah. presents the perils of Prudence Penny Pincher. Now, Prudence Penny Pincher was a very rich old lady who always hid her money around the house where no one These was ever These are vaguely Seamus Colhane Productions. For instance. But I don't think they are. Or in the... Oh, watch out, Prudence! <coughs> but Prudence wasn't happy, even with all her money, because she knew it wasn't earning anything. Furthermore, she felt it wasn't safe. What's that? Look! It's the friendly Empire Savings Man, and he's got the magic ingredient, three and one half percent. He quickly shows Prudence how her money can grow and earn a big return just by adding the magic ingredient. And did it grow and grow? Get the magic ingredients yourself at Empire Savings, 1654 California Street, and watch your dollars grow. Empire Savings, where you get insured safety, convenient availability, and the magic ingredients, three and one half percent. You can start with very little empty batting and you go. Just remember my old trees from little acorn I wonder. Empire Savings is the place my favorite meet at 1654 California Street. Empire Savings presents Honest John and his Dollar Garden, or the Magic Ingredient. Poor Honest John, he's tried nearly everything to make his Dollar Garden grow. Here's his last hope, sure fire dollar growing. But That's even this won't work, no matter how hard oh, wow. he tries. Poor Honest John. <coughs> Look, no, there's the friendly no. Empire Savings man. He's got the magic ingredient, three and one half percent. Now he's sprinkling the magic ingredient on us John's dollars. Watch them grow, and grow, and grow. Get the magic ingredient yourself at Empire Savings, 1654 California Street, and watch your dollars grow. Empire Savings, where you get insured safety, convenient availability, and the magic ingredient, three and one half percent. You can start with very little and keep adding as you go. Just remember my deal free from little they control. Yes, Empire Savings is the place my favorite me at 1654 California Street. There's one in uh, Kingsburg. Empire Savings presents the magnificent Marlin, yes. world's most mystifying magician. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the magnificent Marvin will now amaze you with another of his fantastic feats. Marvin will make dollars grow before your very eyes. Empire Savings, 1654 California Street, and watch your dollars grow. 
Empire Savings, where you get insured safety, convenient availability, and the magic ingredient, three and one half percent. You can touch a very little empty padding as you go. Just remember my neo tree from Little Acorn Pro. If Empire Savings is the place for sailors meet, at 1654 California Street. That's a pretty long tag. I, I mean, clearly some of this is late 50s. It, some of it feels earlier to me. They were abandoned in 1950. I think that Mary's figured out this uh, that the savings company was in Fresno, California. Doctor. There's a really long tag oh, with no, a no, really no, no. boring. Not 1654 from? is California Street, Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. That makes more sense, actually. Why right. toss and turn or keep coffee sheep? Try a glass of milk and see how you sleep. Drink milk, three glasses every day. Oh, yeah, this is Denver Milk Producers. All right. So this, ro this reel may have uh, been local commercials in Colorado. When energy sags, rebuild your pep with a glass of fresh milk. Yeah, man, get hep. Drink milk, three glasses every day. When nerves go a chitter or tummy's upset, a glass of fresh milk is the best tonic yet. Drink milk, three glasses every day. Top off your breakfast and make the day bright. A glass of fresh milk makes everything right. Drink milk, three glasses every day. Lose weight safely when you go on a diet. Milk prevents hunger. Why don't you try it? Drink milk, three glasses every day. Wow. I don't want to lose that much weight. <laughs> For lively teenagers who want to bounce back quick, a glass of fresh milk Coke. always does the trick. Drink milk, three glasses every day. That animation was a little odd. <laughs> Glamorous Mary, how she gets that way. She'll say it's milk, three glasses each day. Drink milk, three glasses every day. Yep, Denver. Empire Savings. 83. 84. Here's the fountain of youth. Milk, the magic drink. Good for grown ups and children. Keeps both in the pink. Drink milk, three glasses every day. A little racism to go with our night here. Sorry, guys. You may think you're sick now, but you'll really be sick if you don't get in on the home bargains at security. Model homes are open 9 till 9. That looks like our reel. Oscar, did you enjoy the commercials? I don't think he was watching. I want some milk. <laughs> I don't think he cares much about milk. Well, everybody, Happy New Year. And Merry Christmas.